What a good girl you are. What a good girl. Okay, we're almost done. I just gotta finish up clipping below your nose. Hello everybody. Today I wanna to show you how I clip below a dog's nose. Dogs have a lot of hair actually below their nose and what happens is it can curl, it can grow. Sorry about my hand there. I just cut it a few minutes ago. Anyways, um, they have a lot of hair that grows right below the nose and you you don't want that hair to be there to, to grow because what happens is the dog licks its lips and it goes inside the mouth and it goes inside the teeth so you want to make sure you get all that hair so as you can see if you move the lips you can see all that hair there and it actually grows you know beyond the lips if you lift up the lips you'll see all the hair and you don't want that there. See how she licks her lips, it went inside? So you want to get that off because it can cause um, you know, infections in the teeth. It'll wrap around the teeth and it's not really good for the dog. So I'm just going to show you how I, I get rid of that. Now depending on your dog, some dogs are sensitive to um, clippers so you might have to use your scissors but in this case I'm going to use my trimmers. Now I don't use my regular clippers which can be very very noisy. I usually use my, my cordless clippers, the trimmers, they're not they're called trimmers instead of clippers because they're more quiet, more for um, light work. I can use this, uh, the Wall Brevora, but I do have a new clipper which I showed in a previous video, I'll put the link down below, is I got the mini, the mini Brevora, it's called the Brav Mini, and that'll be perfect just to clip right below the nose. Hey, are you ready? Okay, so I'm just holding the dog um, steady. I'm not squeezing the head or anything. I'm just holding it steady. Now hopefully she won't move out of the camera. So what I like to do is get the comb and comb that forward. I like from the teeth. You want to get it out of the teeth. No, no, no. Ding, ding, ding. Now she's okay with the clipper because I've done it before. I'm just going upwards. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. I did a little bit at a time. So um, it looks really nice on dogs with black uh, pigment. It looks really good. If they got white pigment, you don't maybe don't want to close uh, or shave too close. You can just do it lightly. But since she has a black pigment, I can go close. It will look nice. Okay. No, no. Stay here, honey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just hold her hair on her lip just to open up her lip like this so I'm using my thumb and all my fingers to open that up it's okay baby I know you just take a couple of little swipes stay 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 I'm gonna go I know right up the nose let's see what you look like that's much cleaner come here baby actually looks nice as well and it won't get um, caught in the teeth. Now you can do it as wide as you want but I wouldn't go beyond the nostrils because it's going to be a big you know black blank area. So what I like to do is I take my scissors and just trim off these other pieces. So then again you just got to angle your hand and fingers, lift up the lips Just take anything off, you see that it will get stuck in the mouth. And right here, if I see any stranglers, I'll get them with the scissors. She seems to be a little bit better with the scissors. Let's have a look. Oh, so pretty. Hey, so pretty. So what I'm going to do is just comb that outwards, get my thinning shears, and just like blend in all the areas that I clipped over here. Then you'll have a much better um, teeth, much better mouth, and you don't have to lick your lips all the time. I'll just blend that in to match that. Now some dogs have a lot of furnishings on their on their face. You can just you know leave that long, but just lift up the lips and just cut what you see hanging down right there. 
close to the lips. So if you open the mouth, and if you see any hairs growing in under the gums, or under the, the flues here, the lips, just cut them off. Like this one here is probably going to grow in, so I'm going to cut that. Oops, sorry, my other scissors. Okay. And another thing you can do to make it look even cuter, the bottom lips here, see how they're black? If you just trim that a little bit, I mean, sometimes that hair grows up. So you can just do a very small outline. And voila! Look at the brand new look compared to uh, what she looked like before I did that. Well, there you go. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.